So the people of Bruges may be known as the Fools of Bruges. And out of the hundreds of beers that are drunk across the bars in the city centre, they actually only produce two beers in the town centre of Bruges at one brewery. So shall we uh, review one of them and see what it's like? So, the Falls of Bruges, what's it all about? Well, basically in the 1400s, uh, Maximilian of Austria went to Bruges. And uh, the population didn't like him much and they decided to revolt and etc etc. And um, Maximilian decided to try and win them over. He put on a few festivals and fairs etc etc uh, to win the population over. And then afterwards the population asked him if they'd actually build him a new mental hospital. Um, Maximilian basically turned around and went, no, why, why do I need to build a mental hospital? Just close the gate because the city of Bruges is full of fools anyway. And uh, to celebrate that fact, um, <coughs> the Half Man Brewery, which is the only brewery, believe it or not, in Belgium to brew beers, when you think of all the hundreds of different beers that are brewed, that are drunk in Belgium in the bars and cafes, etc., uh, they're all brewed outside of Bruges and the Half Man Brewery is the only brewery in Bruges and what they do is they they, um, they brew some beers under the, the Bruges Zot banner, uh, banner and uh, another one is De Straff Hendrik they are the two different uh, makes of beer which uh, the Half Man brew now the Bruges Zot um, this one here is the Blonde okay they also produce a double and a, a, and a Bock beer uh, it's a very, very good beer, and we're going to open it up and uh, give it a try and a taste and see what we think of it. I do like the Bruges Dock glasses. So they are a lovely glass, you know, um, they're a nice, big, nice, firm, good looking glass. And as we're pouring this, you see straight away, it's a lovely Belgian blonde, lovely head going on it, which I would expect. There we go, and you'll always have a little bit of sediment that will go through the beer at the end of the bottle. So there is your Bruges Zot. So, let's have a little... Straight away, the bouquet, you, you can smell a fruitiness, a spiciness. Um, it's brewed with four different kinds of malt. Um, and two aromatic varieties of hop which give this beer its taste but straight away you can see it's got oh, it's oh, it's got a lovely citrus smell to it um, really really nice spicy citrus smell to it so I will give it a taste There's a bitterness here. Um, it's very, very bitter. It's very smooth. This is 6% um, Belgian Blonde, which is around the sort of average to norm for a Belgian Blonde. Um, it's bitterness from the first sip straight away. Um, it's not one of these Belgian blondes that is sweet on the, to start with and then becomes bitter. This is bitter straight from the first sip. Um, this uh, citrus notes you can taste sort of oranges, lemons, etc. Um, the spiciness, you've got, I would say, it's the coriander. Um, 
some cloves, coriander, that sort of thing. It's quite fruity. Um, it's a nice Belgian blonde, um, to be honest. It's it's a good. Now they reckon they use the best ingredients for this, and I totally agree with them here. Um, this is a beer which you can drink with most meals. Um, goes fine with most meals. It's a great beer to have in the summer. It's quite refreshing, even though it's very bitter. It's quite refreshing. You know, it doesn't dry all your mouth out like you know. Um, you still, you know, you take every sip. Yes, it's bitter, but it don't dry your mouth out. You've still got saliva in your mouth. You know, after each sip. You know, with some real bitter beers, they can actually like literally take the saliva out of your mouth and make it dry and you, you want another sip like you know and you keep sip 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 sipping but you don't you know your mouth it just dries you out but no very very good beer um, highly recommended um, I got this from a, a specialised uh, beer shop but it's cropping up now in a few of these little um, cro uh, bars and that, uh, that are springing up all over the places but they actually have this on tap and I think the reason they have it on tap is I because the glass um, is quite sort of, uh, it sort of stands out this glass, you know, if someone was to walk in there and perhaps had uh, never had a brew shop before, didn't know what to order, they would possibly see that glass hanging up and go, oh, oh I'll have the beer to, to go in there, or the actual pump itself with the, with the jester on it, which is obviously symbolises the falls of Bruges, you know, it's quite distinctive, and um, the first time I had this, I, <laughs> I actually, that's that's how I um, ended up drinking this beer was because I saw someone else with it, um, the glass. Oh, what's that in that glass? You know, and then saw the pump with the distinctive gesture on there, and thought, oh, that looks, you know, I'll try that, you know. So, and I think it's really, really good. I like this beer. I like it a lot. It's um, a very, very good Belgian beer. And like I say. I suggest to anyone, if you haven't tried this, go out, find a bottle somewhere. You, you, you'll get a bottle on Beer Hawk. You know, if you haven't got a specialist beer shop near you or, or a specialist bar that's serving it, pop on Beer Hawk and you get a, get a bottle sent to your door and uh, give it a try. You know, you're not going to be disappointed at this beer. This is this is a lovely Belgian beer. It's it's really good. Um, holds its flavour. Um, I actually reckon a bottle. It's got a two-year shelf life, and a keg of it, um, a year. So you know, when you think about um, our real ales and that sort of thing, you know, that, that, that don't have a lot of time anyway with the kegs. You know, uh, you know, four day, four days max on a keg is quite impressive, really. Um, but like I said, find a bottle, buy a bottle, try it, see what you think. I'd, I'd just say. I don't think um, you're gonna drink this beer and go, "Oh, that's a horrible beer." You're all gonna drink. You're all gonna try it. You're all gonna like it. And uh, yeah, it's a good one. And as as always, like I like to say, is beer is the answer. But I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night.